Welcome back everybody. Are you guys wondering how I connected this Xbox controller to my MacBook slash PC? Well, I'm gonna teach you the steps that I took to connect the Xbox controller to the MacBook slash PC. Hit that like button, subscribe down below if you haven't done so as it would, you know, help my channel out and stuff like that, you know what I mean? Here. We are on the MacBook Pro right now. And what we're going to do, I mean, I am running Windows on this MacBook. So we're gonna set this bad boy right over here, make sure it's charged. What I'm gonna do here is go to the settings. Okay, go to devices and whatever. So as you guys can see, it's at 100. I'm gonna remove the device just so I can walk you through the steps. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna actually click on add Bluetooth or other device. And usually you'd click on everything else, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna click on Bluetooth and we're gonna turn this on, right? And we're gonna hit that button in the back right there. So you guys can see now it's blinking super fast and we're just gonna set this down real quick. Wait for the device to come up, which is right there. Scroll down, Xbox controller, it's gonna connect. Your device is ready to go, done. So now let's do a quick test of this controller, as you guys can see, this controller on the actual game. So let's pull up Grand Theft Auto 5. Let that load up real quick. I'm gonna speed up the video. So as you guys can see, no really input lag. Um, let me hop in the... Um, Let me hop in the Hellcat. That's going to be it for today's video. So that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry, my shirt's a little bit dirty. I was working on the car. Stay tuned for that video. I have like two or three videos coming out on the 
Mercedes that I just bought, but that's gonna be it. We just connected the Xbox controller to the Windows slash MacBook, you know, so thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed.